Did y'all see that TikTok video of that Asian lady saying that women who line their lips with black liner, not sophisticated, like they're not gonna get a man or whatever? Who the fuck cares? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jaleesa. It is usually a running joke that I come on this camera looking like trash, but I do not look like trash today because today is a get ready with me for my nine to five job. Like I don't ever really see get ready with me's of people who live normal lives. Like they're usually entrepreneurs or like they work from home or you know, YouTube is their main job and they never really show you how they got to that point is just very glamorized so i figured why not do one for y'all today i think this look is very very cute it's kind of like my go-to makeup routine whenever i go to work because i'm at work i'm trying to make me some mints i mainly live off of tips and not so much an hourly check if you guys don't know i am a licensed cosmetologist but i do work a nine to five job while i'm building my clientele i am a lash tech now as well as a nail tech. If you guys want to see how I get ready for work, then just keep on watching. All right, so I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera because the eyebrows just take so much focus and precision. But what I did use was the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 9. It's like a soft black. Next up, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I'm literally almost out of it but we're gonna make this work. So I don't think I've ever told you guys what I do for a living. Like, I think I hinted at it, but um, I never told you guys. So what I do is I'm a waitress slash hostess at this card playing place. I've been working at this card playing place for two years. Um, if you live in Texas, then you know that casinos are illegal here. Like, we have to go to Oklahoma in order to go to a casino, but there is a certain game that is allowed in Texas. My job is centered around this game. If you know, you know, okay? So I've been working there as a waitress and people like to sleep on waitressing. Waitresses make a lot of money, a lot of good money, but it also depends on where you're waitressing at. Like if you're a waitress at freaking IHOP, you're not gonna make any money, but upscale places or um, a card playing places or if you are a waitress at a bar you can make some good money it's like almost a bottle girl level type of money almost the only thing about waitressing is that it most likely won't have any benefits like insurance and stuff well my job actually does offer insurance but like they don't offer 401k and all that stuff. It probably won't even matter with the way the world is going right now, <laughs> to be honest, so. Um, so I'm working there at 11, but I usually work there overnight, Thursday and Friday nights, and I just pick up whenever I want to throughout the week. So my schedule is never the same every week. It just depends on if I'm bored or if I have a nail client, soon to be lash client because um, that's also another thing. I've been filming throughout the week. I never, ever, ever go to YouTube. I'm always filming something. But my freaking phone, every time I'm in the middle of talking or doing something, it says storage full, storage full. So I have a ton of random clips of what I've been doing throughout the month in my phone. And I'm probably going to insert them in this video. So I am using the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation in the color Macau Medium Deep. I haven't come across a foundation that is as close to my skin tone as this one. <gasps> Never mind. I'm doing my old freaking routine. I've changed up my makeup routine since the last time I talked to y'all. But I don't know what made me do that. We gotta move though. Yeah, it's a pretty darn good job, and I've been working here for. Two years, I mean, there's complaints about every job. Like, no job is perfect unless you're a business owner, which is what I'm trying to do, but I have to do, I have to work the nine to five for right now until I get my client base, which I will. We're speaking it into existence. This job is really, really easy going and 
flexible for me. Um, they worked with me so much with, in terms of my schedule because I was still working at this job when I was in cosmetology school. I would work there five nights a week overnight and then go to school in the morning. So I was freaking exhausted. We made it through. I did that for a year. I feel like my job has consumed my life. So let's, let's talk about what I've been doing throughout the month. I went and got my last ascension certificate. For a really long time, I wanted to expand my services. I really wanted to do lashes, but the courses are just so freaking expensive. This one was expensive, but I felt like I was getting my money's worth with what they gave me. The company's name is Live Bay Lashes. They're based out in Las Vegas. This lash ascensions is really popular in Vegas. Cause like tons of strippers, bottle girls, um, servers. They like to have their lashes done. Um, what am I using? Why am I not telling y'all what I'm using? LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Warm Honey. So the lash industry is really popular there and I feel like it would be really popular here in Dallas. So I went and took a five day course with them where they taught us how to do classics, um, volume, me mega volume, hybrid sets. So now I'm doing a model call for people to let me do lashes on them for like twenty dollars. Which is really a steal because lashes be costing one twenty, one fifty, sometimes two hundred dollars. So if you're in Dallas and you need your lashes done, hit your girl up. Come be a model for me. Yeah. And that was such a fun experience for me. I was the only black girl in there. <laughs> but like they were just so sweet. I'm using the NYX professional makeup wonder stick for my contour so i did that and then as you can see i went and got my hair done um i went to maintain by amer y'all if y'all live near um south dallas or if you live in the duncanville area please go book with amber she is my go-to girl for locks um locks is like my go-to style for whenever i'm bored because I was really going through with my hair this month. Like I was getting tired of the curls. I even straightened my hair. And I, I don't know why the heck I did that because I'm in Texas for one. It's summer or two. Like my hair didn't last past a week. Really it didn't last past a day because I had to straighten it every single day for it to look good. Cause it kept frizzing up. Thank God I didn't get any heat damage but i really thought i was because i was using high temperatures and i was using it every day yeah she's like my go-to girl for uh full locks i've gotten literally almost every color i've gotten platinum blonde i've been burgundy i've been ginger i've done the ombre the only color i haven't done with her is literally black when i originally booked with her i said i wanted this color and then I was a little iffy about the color because some shades of blonde just doesn't look good on black people and darker skin black people for one. I don't know if y'all, if you guys would consider me dark skin. I consider myself dark skin, but some people would consider me uh, brown. I don't really care. I just know that I'm not light skin. So I didn't think I would be able to pull off a color like this. I kind of chickened out and I changed my appointment um intake form to black and when i got to the salon um i saw that she had blonde hair i trusted her like she's never steered me wrong i think if she felt like the color would look bad on me she wouldn't have given me the color <laughs> if you're in dallas or in duncanville go book with amber i feel like i give her a hard time because i have so much hair and it's long and I be wanting my locks to be on the smaller side. Like I freaking hate big parts on myself. No shade if you like to get big parts. Whenever you do a protective style, it just ain't for me. I just don't feel like I have the head shape for that. Whenever I get big parts, I just feel ball headed. But maybe that's just me. <laughs> I'm looking kind of ashy right now. So I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder in the shade Honey. I'm gonna set my under eye while also like preserving my contour, if that makes sense. Also like to put some on my brows because I kind of feel like they're too black. 
sometimes. So putting powder on them kind of makes them look more natural. It kind of mattifies them. I look like a baked cookie, but a good cookie. So I'm gonna leave this on while I do my eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go in with this James Charles palette. I don't wanna hear nothing about this freaking palette. I bought this when he released it. It is the same freaking palette. <laughs> like he's problematic or whatever, but I already spent my dang money and I'm gonna use every single shadow in this palette. But I'm going in with this one for my um, eyeshadow. And this is the main one that I use because it just gives me a natural, it's not too bold, it's just right for my skin tone. So I like to go in with this just so it doesn't look like I have a naked eye. So to recap for y'all of what's been going on since my last video, I um, took a lash class. Um, I straightened my hair for one and then I went to go get my hair done. I'm gonna try to straighten again in the winter time when it's not so humid outside. I bought the Color Wild product that's on TikTok. Like right after I straightened my hair, I should have brought it prior. Maybe it would have lasted in the summertime. So I'm gonna be testing out that to see if it really works because I have kinky hair and I've only really seen people with looser textures use it. So I feel like that would be a good uh, product to test out on YouTube to see if it works for me. I've also just been working a ton to have money to put towards my business because I, like, I got approved for business credit but I'm just afraid to use the credit for some reason. Like I could literally open up a suite. I don't think I would be making the right move financially to open a suite and I don't have consistent clientele yet. So I'm just like waiting it out, trying to promote myself enough to be able to do that. Also, I wanna say shout out to the people who are just now following me, even though I haven't uploaded a full video in a month. A lot of y'all are from my short that I did about the Barbie inspired nails, which kind of, blew up um i didn't think it was going to do anything but i think it's my highest viewed short and a lot of y'all are from there a lot of y'all are also from my vlog about me moving to dallas i'm also going to take that same color and go over my contour just to bring it out a little bit more because oh i've been looking like the walking dead. I thought it was funny to see in my comments of my vlog of me moving to Dallas that, you know, I hope you like it here and stuff. I'm from here. Like, <laughs> um, I lived here for 18 years before I went off to college up north. I stayed up north for five years and then I came back. But while I was living in Dallas, like, before I left Dallas, I didn't really get to explore it. Like, I had never really been around the city because my parents kind of sheltered me. They really didn't let me do anything. <laughs> so I'm kind of like rediscovering Dallas. I'm discovering like all the hot spots, all the restaurants, um, fun activities and stuff to do. So I hope to share that with y'all in uh, future vlogs, but I am from here. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna be going in with blush and I'm using this palette again, but I'm using this red and this pink. It just creates like the perfect blush shade for me. So I'm gonna go in with that. I don't apply blush to just my cheekbones. I kind of just like go in this W. I also like to use this brush and go in with the champagne color and do my inner corners. And I'm looking in the camera for this. I'm actually gonna be doing another short today. Well, I'm gonna try to upload it tonight of me doing a feel on my nails. My current nails, I wanted to keep them on to track the retention. And I've had them on for a good, has it been three weeks? I wanna say it's been like three weeks. It's grown out a little bit. So I'm gonna be doing a fill and changing the design. Just wanted to give y'all an update of what I've been doing. I kind of want to go ahead and get a camera so I can stop getting these notifications that I'm running out of freaking storage or I'm just gonna have to upgrade my phone, which I'm due for anyways, but 
I don't know, Apple be tripping. Apple needs to get it together. I'm tired of them releasing the same phone every year. If they gonna release the same phone, at least give us the opportunity to upgrade the storage. Not the iCloud storage, the regular storage of the phone. I'm going to go in with eyeliner, which is new for me. I've never worn eyeliner until recently. So I just didn't know how to do that wing. Oh my God, I fucked it up. This is not the same. I gotta clean this up. I fucked both of them up trying to make them equal. This is about as good as it's gonna get. Next, I'm gonna go in with this Benefit Their Real Mascara. Uh, this is the travel size version, I think, because I've never used it before. So I want to see how it works. Because I have really small curly lashes. Let me start at the bottom first. Usually I would put on lashes, but I just don't feel like doing it today. I'm going to like go in with this fully because it's elongating my lashes, the top lashes, but it's making them look very spattery. Comb them out just a little bit. Now I'm going to go in with my NYX Professional Makeup Matte Finish Setting Spray. And I really like to bathe myself in it because my skin is so freaking oily. I'm gonna go in with this little brush, pat over it. Kind of just like pat the spray into my skin. I feel like it gives me a more flawless look, an airbrushed look. So I'm gonna take this same pencil because I'm the only one that's using it. I don't care if y'all think it's gross, but out. Uh, I'm gonna go in with this uh, color here. It's kind of like a black, but it's like a brown too. I just tried to use the darkest um, color that I can find outline my lips because I'm a black person. Like, did y'all see that TikTok video of that Asian lady saying that women who line their lips with black liner are like, not sophisticated, like they're not gonna get a man or whatever. Who the fuck cares about men, honestly? Black and brown women been doing this for decades. And we look weird without the liner. Like, if you just try to put on lip gloss or lipstick without a lip liner and you're black, you can pull it off, good for you. Me personally, I can't. I will continue to line my lips. I kinda like to fade it out before I put lipstick on top, well, lip gloss on top. Hopefully I'm gonna go in with my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Ginger Snap. I usually go between Ginger Snap and a Praline. And just gonna put this on top. Y'all like it? I think it's cute. This is so cute. And lastly, I'm gonna go in with my perfume. This is my Carolyn Herrera Good Girl. Um, I don't know what the pink bottle is called, but I also have like the black bottle. The black bottle is like vanilla-y. And this one is like very, uh, um, what's the word for it? It just smells very girly. It's comparable to her um, by Burberry. So, and this is the scent I'm going for today. I just feel like I'm giving that vibe today. My usual, my usual scent is like vanilla. All right, that is it for this video. Hopefully I edit it in a way that makes sense because I know whenever I'm talking, I just talk all over the place. I go on tangents all the time and I know I don't know how people just stay on one topic for an entire video. I don't know how they do that. So hopefully I edit this video to where it makes sense and it's coherent for you to watch. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, why are you not subscribed? Like. Why are you here, for one, if you're not subscribed? We're on our way to a thousand subscribers, so I'm super duper excited about that. Stay tuned for the short that I'm gonna upload about my nails. Um, and also, I plan on doing a, kind of like a day in my life as a struggling, what not, 
we're not gonna use the term struggling. We're gonna just say upcoming nail stylist, lash stylist, because we're gonna, we're just gonna have it in the air that we're gonna be successful and live in luxury because it's already planned for us. Like it's already there. So we're gonna start living in it, you know? So yeah, that is all for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.